Hello everyone, Deadeye here, we're back! We're back, we're not really back with anything, kind of a little bit actually. We'll get into that in a second. This is Alan Wake, hello. Um, I'm Deadeye. We're gonna be playing this for the channel. Um, I don't have any idea when I'm uploading it. There is a continued game on here, and that's why I did say we're back. I actually played this game on the channel already once. It was a long time ago, like, a, probably a decade, right? No, I went and looked, it was only 2017. <laughs> Feels like a long time ago though. Back when I was doing, um, Steamed Leftovers. Uh, which eventually kind of turned into a quick play. But anyways, um... This is enabled, okay, cool. Audio really quiet? Is this just the way the audio is? Yeah, let's put it like that for now, we'll see how it goes. Um... We are gonna have to start a new game, though. Uh, normal. Uh, yeah, so... In preparation for the sequel. King once wrote that it is quiet, it's very quiet. And there's little fun um, to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. It's a good, story, good, the good line there, wide, Mr. King. But there can be no uh -huh. I don't remember one. anything from playing this uh, for Steamed Leftovers. Not a single thing. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Um, not a thing. That's probably not a good sign. About my memory. I remember the flashlight, obviously. What is he like? You made the bad guys weak, and then you shot him. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. This guy really likes to talk about himself, doesn't he, man? And weird, even by my Made a whole video game with his name on it. So yes, it began with a dream. Okay, so you're aware you're in a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Oh. That dang local just hanging out in the tunnel. What the heck? He was asking for it. He was dead. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. That's not how it happens, buddy. Just say, you know, it was self-defense. <laughs> Never mind. <gasps> He's gone! That's not possible. You're in a dream, bro. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode 1. Nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stay on my feet. Yeah, we need to turn this up. Okay. Uh, look up at the light. It turns the camera. Okay, wait. Hold the, hold the phone. Still too quiet. This definitely needs to be louder. Something like that. How's that? Look up at the light. Turns the camera. Reverse your controls for looking up and down? No. Change camera setting the dominion. This is not sensitive enough. These are the settings I ran with a whole long time ago. Why are these separate? Wait, wait. Direct aiming? Is this, um, auto aim? Now that's way too sensitive, but we'll go with that for now. We'll shift to sprint. Wait, wait. How heavy was that guy to, like, completely disable a vehicle? The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. That's not how that works, necessarily, my friend. Oh, your crappy novel. Where it belongs the on the floor. Something important waiting for me there. It's an interesting, like, yeah, like I don't know. You run over the books and kind of slip a little bit. Alan Wake. I can't read anything on there besides his name. Let's go. I don't know if I like over the left shoulder though. Rain Cove Point, huh? Oh. Should have been an athlete instead of a writer. Welcome to Night Springs. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. I like to talk in third person. I'm in a dream. Oh, there's no um. <laughs> there's no wall. Okay, cool. 
Did I, did I say what I meant to say there? I didn't. I meant to say he likes to talk about himself. You're in a dream, bro. It all began in a dream. To go to the lighthouse. Nothing we're doing matters. Important waiting for me there. Threat's not real. The writer was the real killer all along. That guy in the tunnel deserved it. Hey, look at these people throwing their trash. <gasps> he's back. And he's blurry. Now yeah, he's in front of me. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Yeah, you're the dude I just ran over. Think you're God. You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds wait, to the drama. Wait, wait, you're saying you're saying my 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 writings are real? I can't take it. You're a lousy rider. Oh no. Thrills and pretend to shit. It's my That's all your inner monologue. For. Just look at me. Look at your work. Alright. I can't. You're all blurry. Also, you're walking the other way or something. Alright, bye. Checkpoint reached. I'm missing already? Or is that somebody else? Have you seen this man? No, that kind of looks like me. What is this giant poster thing? QR code? What the heck's on that QR code? Hold the front door. Oh, it just goes to the Facebook page for Alan Wake. Okay. Space to jump. How dated, right? A QR code to go to a Facebook page for a video game. I'm willing to bet it's, it's still active. You can dodge enemy tags. Especially now that there's a game coming, they know they put this here. Huh. Well done. Right again. Dodge the attack. Good work. These levels are sometimes highlighted with a cinematic moment. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh, good. So you're well aware that your creation is coming to life. It's like you're in some sort of mouth of madness. I'm enjoying the irony of it. That dude there? That was just some weird blur effect. See, this is what you get. I mean, you can't run anymore. You're too tired. You spend all the time writing. Should have been an athlete. They high school actually you know focusing on the arts instead of football how dare they what's up dude so that uh horrible writer's block huh? coming to kill me no i'm more interested in the fact that you all recognize me nice gun by the way. like would you recognize god if you saw him Maybe that's too deep of a question for us here right now. Oh, he's stuck outside. Oh no. No, Clay. I had something planned for you in the third act. Oh, now this guy's ruining my art. gonna do a uh, hold out in the cabin like the Resident Evils. V, 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 V. Yeah, all right. If that's what you want. Tom the Poet. Oh, that's the same uh, thing we saw. I guess we're not going out through the poet door. Ow. My hit points. 
There it is. Follow the light. Wait, wait. Was I the cabin? Why did I get so much damage from that? Ow. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Go into the safe haven. Okay. Stay in the safe haven until you are completely healed. Ah, uh, thank you, light. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It are you like really this, me? For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> He's just like, dude, follow. Kind of pretentious for a writer to write himself into his own novel. Huh? I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. The DB? Okay. Now. The darkness protects him from all Thanks harm. for the ammo. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take oh, shiz. Thank you. For this. Take your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Get away. Boost the light. Takes one whole battery plus a little extra. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Well, he's like that because you wrote him like that. Can you stop that? Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That Point light. All. Shoot. I will give Got you back it. your dream now. Thanks. Or, goodbye, me, consciousness, or whatever. The, world. the lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Because it's the lighthouse. Okay. I am ready to be action man. Oh, hello. Funny, that's how that happened, huh? <laughs> Get the F back! Horrible demon! Oh, shit! Huh. Back! Back, you monsters! Nope! Oh crap, oh crap, reload that gun! Alright. No way, nobody, no, 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 this is gonna be a deathless run, check this out. What's in here? A flare gun, thank you. And some players for that flare gun. How do I switch over? Oh, it's the number keys. Yeah, all right. It's in this old, like, World War II bunker. What the heck is this? Soda. Uh, coffee, I mean. That's all... a writer uh, runs on, huh? Know what you're telling me? You did just like There's a lot of you. Fire gun. I shall... Oh, I was gonna say I saw. I said I just gotta say I'll make you see the light. So that uh, your flare gun, grenade launcher, makes sense. For monsters weak to light. Nah, you first. I shall write you out of this novel. <laughs> oh shit! Don't fall. You know what they say is the pen mightier than the sword. Well, I am the pen. 
Is this guy who says, oh, he's behind me. I what the heck? That was not exactly. Oh, hey, the billboard for my book. That was not exactly uh, graceful. Something in here? Nope. Let's go. Get away from me, DP. Ah! I do not need a new vehicle. Despite my other one, it just needs a new radiator. Stop. Stop. I'm not interested in your used cars, sir. Jeez, these salesmen get so aggressive. Why is it so hard? I just want the car that I want. No, I don't need the freaking fancy trim. I'd rather keep the four grand to myself. I don't need a sunroof. I'll take that. It's E, not an F. Bah, oh shiz. You can't run no more, my dude. Get inside. Uh... Alright, we're fine. Turned off the light house. He's here. Alan, wake up. Alan, wake up. Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. How come your lips don't move when you speak? This for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. And you just look outside and it says Silent Hill. You're like, oh no. It was just a nightmare. Welcome to Bright Falls. Hey, that was in that other game I played. Um, Control. <laughs> Took me a second to remember what it's called. That game was good. I'm real upset. The game broke and I couldn't do the DLC or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, this was in there somewhere, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was like a hint for it or something? Yo, leather handbag? Come on, Alan Wake. You gotta be more respectful of uh, the, the natural world than that. You can't you can't do that. My bad. He's got that sunroof. That's a huge sunroof. That's n not possible. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. You want? I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Maybe the old man doesn't want me nearby. Hey, wait, that's my car. It's the car I was driving. Ah, uh, can I dream of that? Oh, jeez, it's an actual car. I just realized it's a Lincoln. No way they had a moonroof that big. That's way too Alan, big. Before he missed the shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a cool plane thing. Hey, hello, sir. Hello, old timer. Time to visit our town. Oh, yeah? Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest? Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying. I I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You're the main I'm Pat? Wake. I'm the I wakiest out. I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. Why I'm is this vibrating so much? Presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep... Oh, Alan, don't be a dick. Just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thanks, Pat Maine. Where are we? Where is Bright Falls? Like, Washington? Fresh Safood. Nice. A camera. I got a couple of really good ones. What Let's kind of camera is that? Friend. That's cute. Okay. Right. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah. A hey, bestseller. Oh. Who's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. <laughs> Just got. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure. Dude, you gotta wash out your truck well, after you fun. kill. Great. You know, like Great. something. Can't have that blood stay. Sure Barry, 
We're just settling in. Okay, haven't even landed yet. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. I don't remember this game having so much like atmosphere going okay. through. Wait, okay. that's not the right phrase. For you, buddy. But like so much like I love you too, Barry. Scenery? Hey, there's the deer for Deerfest. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Yep. Alright, fine, I'll not stand next to you. <laughs> Jesus. He says hi to you too. Barry Traffic, the watery bright falls ferry line. Departures every hour. Ferry operates from seven to ten, seven days a week. Please turn off your engine and put your car in park. This free ferry that's that's how you know you're still in a dream. Nothing is in free in real life, my friend. Get the fudge out of here with this Lincoln shit. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do the boat's is moving, is it? Butt into the yeah. car and enjoy the ride. Oh. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. All right. We'll fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Fill her up. Do you even know where there's a gas station? Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I <laughs> promise to behave. That's not what you say. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Oh, dear. I wonder if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh God! Jesus. I am your fan. I Did you not notice the cardboard cutout? I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Alan Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I got all your books. No way. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Why did they take it out of the window? And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Where'd that guy go? What's that what's that guy doing? Uh, right. Maybe he got a newspaper and went that way. When you fall in love, cause it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black. That's funny. That's funny. He's gonna be a, like a yeah, demon thing. Two of us. Pretend I didn't see your fingers poking through your newspaper there. Sup, one eyed dude. Favor, sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I sure. do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. I can yeah, hear you, sir. You I'm serious? standing right next to you. Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah. Uh, am I gonna get in trouble for this? Number six. You put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think <laughs> I will that murder you stuck. in your sleep. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. All right, sir. Yes, that's my favorite tune. <laughs> coconut. Get in there. In there. Oh, it's it like a thing. Hammer, shut it for now, that's what Jeez, I this guy doesn't sound very nice. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be near that because I think it's gonna get me in trouble. Are you okay, bro? What's up with that? Flipping the light switch. Why are you staring at me, lady? Not that famous. All right. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Tell me, it's true. Handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Oh, Alan. You're supposed to be the hero of this story. Is he gonna get a new appreciation? That uh, pre words. Or, uh. Hello? His work, his fans, himself. Who he really is. Mr. Stucky? He Stucky. In the toilet. Oh, hey. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. 
Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. What's with the and veil, ma'am? Wife. I insist. Thanks. I mean, he was taken ill, but did he like die? Where'd you come from, by the way? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Uh, I bet. Did you just give the same warning to that lady there? Yeah, yo. Not lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Okay. You get, you go, you go back to Twin Peaks, man. Um. Oh, he fell asleep to his song. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Why am I all the way to the right on the screen? It's so annoying. Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. I see. Bye. I'll never be in your diner again. Bye, Mr. Wake. Oh, hey. My wife showed up. Perfect timing. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Huh, yeah, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Dude, I was told you would fall in ill. Where'd that you come from? That was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. Ah, oh, yeah. On vacation, Alice. About a writer out when we get back home. Just trying to overcome his writer's block. Okay, we can talk about this later. They're going with it so heavy. I have to point it out. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. He's talking about us. Because he met us. Oh no. Music. It's going to get me in trouble. Uh, hi, how are y'all doing? Hope you're enjoying this video. Stop, please. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> going to be stopping here in a second. I think when we get to the cabin. Diver's Isle. Diver's Isle. It's gorgeous, Alan. <laughs> it's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm <laughs> okay. She disappeared for a second. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Hey, bird. Oh, there's a magic wall here. I gotta jump. Yo. What's up with all these Odin birds looking at me, man? Bird like Gavin. Hey, look, it kind of looks like a face. Alice, you put up with this guy? <gasps> oh, right over your head, Alice. Seriously, animal skin bag? Come on, you guys got to respect nature more than that. Yo. Get something sustainable, you know. I examine. Oh. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. T Z and B J. Uh, good, good for you guys. An old generator had been connected to the power. Jeez, this is scary. Yay! Generate! I don't know if it's supposed to be vibrating that much, but make me some electricity. A lot of smoke coming out of there. It's shockingly quiet for a big generator. Okay! 
I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Don't settle in without me. I guess we were supposed to do that. Probably. Uh, it was a beautiful place. I didn't mean to skip anything there. Sorry. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. But then the Wendigo came. Turn. Return to Alice. I stood there that whole time. A lot of light coming out of that window. Might be too late for Alice. Oh, no, I can see inside. Oh, that's nice. Um, is this a good time to stop? What was the time? Yeah, 30-ish minutes. That's a good time to stop. Oh, they actually, the wind chime actually... Does wind chime. That's nice. It doesn't have to, considering you have to basically hit it to, uh... Uh, where's our cargo? Where the heck did our car go? Also, the bridge is a little more rickety than I remember. Is the game gonna stop me? At some point. At any point? Go pretty far up. Am I gonna get a game over screen here? What is this? Uh, there's our car. Just get on in the car, put it in forward, and just go straight through. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. Huh. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Jesus. All these interesting... Uh, no private party, no trespassing. Is that like a healing item or like a collectible? What's going on? Anyways, folks. How y'all doing? Hope you're enjoying this series. A series? It's not a series yet, but it's gonna be a series. <laughs> uh, please subscribe. Uh... Daily uploads on this channel, a video every day, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I alternate Let's Plays, though, so if you want to catch more of this, it'll be day after next. In the meantime, I'm playing something else tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to check it out. I think you'll like that, too. Um, see what's going on in this writer's nightmare uh, next time, huh? All right. All right. That's it for me today. Do hope you all enjoyed. Do hope to see you all soon, and, um, well, bye-bye now. I'm going to start the next video in, in front of the cabin.